Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. So let's say, for instance, all right, the garbage disposal is not working right. You turn it on and it's just humming, mm, but it's not grinding anything. So you know there's a problem. It's either it's burning out or there's something stuck inside of there and you don't know what to do. Well, the first thing you do is you shut off the, the circuit breaker. That's number one. So when you turn on the switch again, you don't hear, hmm, you don't hear that at all. And you make sure that it's off. The second thing that you do is you make sure that that light switch is off, that turns on and off the garbage disposal. Make sure it is off on the off side. All right, so what you want to do then, before you start calling a plumber or anything like that to say, hey, what's wrong with my garbage disposal? You're gonna go into the sink. And that's where we're at right now. So if it looks like I'm on the side and the door's here and I'm tilted sideways, it's because I'm on the floor and the door's here and I'm tilted sideways. Because I'm looking at the bottom of the garbage disposal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera over to the bottom so you can actually see what I see. And we're going to show you two different ways first off to see if we can fix it before you end up having to replace it. All right, so here we go. So there's the bottom. There's the bottom of the, of the garbage disposal. Now, there are two things and you can see them right here. There's two things that you wanna try first. The first thing is, is there is a reset button, which is right there, that red button. Sometimes it's sticking all the way out and you have to push it in. Now, if your garbage disposal is not making any sound at all, no hum at all, that's what you wanna push in to reset the motor, to make sure, and then turn on uh, the circuit breaker, then try the garbage disposal to see if it's working. If that is not the problem, turn the circuit breaker back off, make sure that the switch for the garbage disposal is in the off position, and then look at this part right here. So garbage disposals come with an Allen key like this. And what that does is you put it in the bottom and you turn it left and right. Now, if you've got something stuck in there like a bone or something like that, that's preventing the garbage disposal from actually going in a circular fashion, this key here, by putting it in there and forcing it left and right will dislodge anything that's inside of there. And then this way you can, once you, once you take this out, you're gonna go over to the circuit breaker box, turn it back on, turn on the breaker, and then flip the switch for the garbage disposal and see if it's still humming. Now you're probably gonna hear some some really heavy grinding. It's because whatever's stuck in there now is being chewed up by the teeth that are on the inside of the garbage disposal. So that 90% out of the 90% of the time, that's what the problem is. 90% about by just by you got something lost in there, like a bone or or maybe a, um, you put so much stuff down there and you just haven't turned it on in a while or maybe you have a whole bunch of seeds from grapes and lemons and stuff like that in there. Uh, but sometimes you just have to dislodge it. And, and nine, I'm gonna say about 90, 95% of the time, that's what the problem is. Looking at stuff like that really isn't that big of a deal. Try that first. If that doesn't work, then you might have to either call a plumber and find out, find out from him what's going on or you, the unit itself, it could be extraordinarily old and you might have to replace it. And if it comes down to that, I can, I can show you how to replace it. But in this particular case, try those two items first and see if that works for you. And like I said, about 90% of the time, that's really what the problem is. Let me know if you have any problems. 
down at the bottom there's some sort of a subscribe thing if you would please go ahead and hit that uh, that would be wonderful thank you very much and i'll see you on the next video